Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. So today in today's video, um, we are, my car is actually at the dealership getting serviced and so they should be coming to pick me up um, pretty soon and then after we leave there, we are going to go to Burlington's and I am looking for some art. I'm looking for some, a particular abstract art print. And so we're going to see what Burlington has. Um, I've seen it in Ross. I have not run across it again. I am going to take a trip to the at-home store. And I've also gone to Home Goods to see what they've had. But I haven't gone recently, but I have um, gone. So that's what we're looking for today. Um, I want to first start off by um, doing a shout out to CC of CC's Fashion is My Passion. This time every year she does like it's for Women's Month. And so she does like a youtube influencer shout out and um she shouts out different women influencers um here that are that have platforms here on youtube and so she asked us to um shout out a different influencer um for the month and so i am going to shout her out because this is her idea that she came up with um I think about two or three years ago. And so I think it's a great way to um, make known other influencers who you may not know about, you may have not heard of. And so CC's fashion is my passion. She is a plus size um, fashion influencer. She does a lot of um, fashion hauls from ASOF. She does... Um, she in and so she does some other um fashion hauls also but she also does car chats i actually listen to her car chats every morning when i'm on on my way to work so it's her and i driving down 75 here in atlanta so i listen to her every morning and usually her car chats last about the time that it takes for me to get home when she does a, a good long car chat it's about 35 40 minutes so that's about the time it takes me to get to work so i listen to um cc and find out what's going on in her life and that's you know i think that it's a great way for influencers to do um, diversify um, their audience, you know, to, so you can kind of get to know them because you only know like one aspect of a person. You don't know what like is going on in their lives. Although you think that you know them, you don't really know them. So it's a really great way to um, get to know your um, your favorite influencers. And so, but one thing I want to say about Cece, she does not hold her tongue. So those days that she's um, peeved off or whatever, you are going to hear. And a lot of time, I am laughing. Um, but yes, but if you are into plus size fashion, anything like that, for a woman um, over a certain age, so I would probably say like 40 and over, you know, you, you are going to definitely be entertained by CC. I'm going to put all of her information down in the description box and you guys go and check her out and tell her that Wani sent you, okay? Now, right now, she's in the process of purchasing her first home. So, she is going through all the highs and lows of that entire process. So, I'm really um, happy for her. I spoke to her recently and I told her, girl, I'm so happy for you. So that is great. So um, go over, check her out and um, subscribe to her channel. You're you going to like her. You, you, you are going to like her. She's definitely entertaining. All right. So um, now that we've gotten that out the way, I do want to say that um, yeah, we're going to go to Burlington's. And then we're going to see what, what they have. I'm looking for this painting. So, fingers crossed. I'm going to get myself ready for when um, my car dealership comes back to pick me up. And then we will be zoom, zoom on our way.
Come on. so we have made it home and um on our way when we left burlington i stopped down the street at ross to see what they have now i know i think wednesday is typically the day that my ross put in new shipment i will be at work but um so i went in today i might stop by tomorrow see if they have anything good because as you saw in our walk through of burlington i'm still looking for art and so um I have not found again what I was what I'm looking for but I am not giving up y'all I'm not giving up but um today is a day that I really should be painting but it's raining so um I was always told that you should not paint in the rain because it takes the the moisture in the air causes the paint to dry slower so today is not a good day for me to paint um, but I want to show you guys what I, um, what project I am about to work on. And that is I'm cleaning up this space. So um, I'm taking away all of these things here on the pillows. And we'll be starting with a blank slate um, coming up for next week's um, video. So it'll be a blank slate, but... Let me show you guys um, some cup, a couple of things that I picked up today while I was in Ross. And, um, yeah, 
I need to stay out of Ross. Now, I only bought like three things, but they are like really nice pieces. And so I have been going back and forth as to like the colors that I wanted to use this year. And, um, you know, like the vibrant yellows, or did I want to do um, creams and just do neutrals and do blacks? And I don't know. And so every year I typically like, when I'm out, I'll see like what my eye gravitates to. And this year it really wasn't gravitating towards like anything. Um, no particular color, no particular style. And I was like, okay, well maybe I'll just do like neutrals and just have it look very like, you know, black and white with browns and things like that. We're using woods. And I went into, when I went into Ross today, something caught my eye because I was actually about to leave. And it is some pillows. Now I typically am the one that I'm gonna buy pillow covers and because I don't need any more pillows, but I really love the covers on these pillows. And I thought that they could be very versatile. So it came in a set of two and it's these pillows here. And so it's just really pretty, like, um, not, it's not with a moss green. It is like, a, I don't know what kind of green I can call this. I don't know if it's like, a, it's not Sienna. It is a, a lighter type green. I can't think, I can't think of a color. If you know what kind of green this is, let me know. But, but you see the background of it is gold, right? Instantly caught my attention because you know, I use gold in my decor and you get a two pack of these. These are like the lumbar um, pillow and this material here is a chenille material. And then in the back, you see it has the silver background. I mean, sorry, the gold background. You got two decorative pillows and this was $19.99. Now, I was looking all over to see if this zip had a zipper and it doesn't. But um, it's okay because I was I can still use these. I can um, get a large, a little bit larger pillow, and this will be able to fit into another. I mean, a larger pillow cover, and this will be able to fit in there. Um, and actually, if I find one the same size, it will be able to fit in there. So I thought this was so pretty, and I was like, okay. I could work with this, okay? I, I can work with this. Now, you know, I had these pillows here and I was thinking about that, but that gold is not the same type of gold. This is too deep for that. So I need to look for something a little bit like this, that gold or a cream. And I think I might be leaning towards a cream color, like an off-white type color. And I think I might have some pillow covers um, for like 20 by 20, 20 by 24 upstairs. This will be great with. So I got these, these are by Verbena, that's the brand. And it's a two pack decorative pillow, super soft chenille, and they are. Now the insert in here, it's all cotton. So there's no chopping going on uh, anything, but it's, um, it's, it's stuffed very nicely. So you won't get any sags, okay? So this is our first item that I picked up. All right. And then as I'm walking, I see these really nice branches and they are huge. And the price of these are definitely cheaper than I would pay if I were in um, Joanne's Hobby Lobby, Michael's and um the at home store i think that's what um we're going to take a trip to the at home store um they should have the floral picks out so we'll go by there to see how their floral picks look and i have a video of that um for you guys next week but it's this these beautiful stems here they are gorgeous i think these are like dogwoods 
And so you get three really nice substantial, well this is two, branches. And they're, they're pretty full. And these were $11.99, right? $11.99 and I bought two of them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They are absolutely gorgeous. I like how the inside of the floral is has the yellow in here. So if I did want to use yellow at one time, I could still use these. Love the green color. And the green and these picks look beautiful with the pillow. You see that? Isn't that gorgeous? It is. It is really nice. So I picked up two of these. And so I went and got this vase here. You guys remember this vase from last year? Um, I picked it up. I think it's from Home Goods. It is. And I paid $29.99 for this. And I was thinking something like this. Just, I'm about, I would have to bend this because the um, it is very, very these um the stems they're, they're very mm, they're hard to bend because they're nice and thick or you can have them in a really nice a taller base but i just wanted you guys to see how they looked in something like this and actually i need to turn this this to this direction and then if you Kind of spread them out a little bit and what I liked about like about this is because you know of course the branches are wired so you can't manipulate them to make them look as full um, as you would like so I just this is just me showing you how the branches would look in here but look at that isn't that pretty oh my gosh gorgeous Simply gorgeous. So for what's that? $11.99. So $24 for those big tall branches. And if you have a long, narrow type of vase, you don't have to do all that manipulating of the um the stem of the branch. You could just sit it down in there. Or if you had a long, narrow glass vase would be beautiful and you know how I like to do I like to put water in mine because it looks lifelike and even with those the brown of these they look like real um, stems from outside so you know that's one way to manipulate the eye to think that those are actual real plant real flowers put some water in there now you have to change it probably like once every two weeks because it begins to look a little um, cloudy. But just change the water, girl, and um, nobody would know. Well, that When they come in, they touch it, they'll know. But from afar, they'll think that they are real, okay? Now, the last item that I picked up, I was like, girl, I know you're not leaving this. And they had one in gold and one in silver. And you know, I am a gold girl. The silver one was beautiful, but this gold one, I was like, nah, girl. This is not gonna be here. Um, get her, and I did. And so, I picked up this beautiful, beautiful glass gold mercury it's like a mercury glass ginger jar. It is gorgeous. Look at the base of it. It has the gold down here at the base. And then it has like a lattice, leaf lattice um, design. It's kind of foiled. Love that. Then the gold up here. And then this ombre is down. Can you see the color variation here? And then you have the gold top. So pretty. Now this was $17.99. $17.99, they only had one, that's fine. I didn't need a mate for this, I only wanted one. And um, and then they had the silver one. Like I said, the silver one was okay. You know, but th this gold, to me, it was better than the silver. It just st stood out 
And so I think it is going to be beautiful um, as part of our decoration and our design. And so, yeah, so that is all that I have to share with you guys. Um, still on the hunt for the picture. And um, we're going to go by the at-home store. You'll see that, a walkthrough with the at the floor department at the at-home store. We'll see what type of pics we see there. And I think that's it. I think the rest of this week here is going to be raining. I have, um, so I won't get the opportunity to paint um, where I need to paint. But I do need to go and get the paint. I can't paint without getting the paint. So I need to go get the paint. Next week, I think it's going to be warmer. So we'll be able to start our project. And um, then we have some other things coming in. So we are definitely about to start our spring decorating. This coming weekend is daylight savings time. So y'all, it is it's officially, well, officially spring, I think it's like March 19th. But y'all, when the time... Um, springs forward. It is spring to me. So I need to get on it. Okay. So that is going to be it guys for today's video. I hope you enjoyed walking through Burlington's with me looking for some art um, as well as uh, are you excited about the upcoming spring home decorating? I know I am. I have all this stuff and um I am about to put all these things away and then we're gonna start off with a clean, fresh slate up in here. I also, um, I want to, I'm gonna look on Amazon because what one thing that I'm going to do guys this year, well, this for this, this spring, we're gonna paint this coffee table. Um, I love this coffee table. I'm never gonna get rid of it, but I do want to paint it and we're going to change the knobs so i'm going to look for some knobs to go and exchange um these knobs or uh, i don't know if i don't find anything i can always spray paint these knobs but yes yeah, so we're going to be doing that um i've been thinking about painting the banister so we'll see I, i'm y'all i have a lot of painting that um, i'm planning and i want you to be here to be a part of i want you to see it we have some big transformations that are um, taking place so and I don't want you to miss it and to ensure that you don't miss it you need to subscribe to my channel the only thing you have to do is hit that subscribe button hit it twice so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads you can also find me over on my Instagram my TikTok, as well as on my I have Instagram TikTok, and I occasionally um, post on my Facebook, but all of it, you can find it under Wani's house. You, you don't have to worry. You, you don't have to worry because I'm easy to locate. And if you have any problem locating me, uh, just send me a message over here and I'll point you to the way. All right. So, all right, guys. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Wani, and welcome to Wani's house. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. All right, guys, so I'm about to go, but before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.